Well, in, in high school, obviously, I took uh, all, almost all the computer science courses I could because I wanted to explore whether this is the right field for me. And uh, I don't know why you're asking <laughs> why it had, uh, what impact it had on my high school career when actually it uh, basically formed my future plans in terms of this is what I want to major in now because uh, Sunset's high school program has allowed me to uh, explore what what field or explore this field determine whether it's right for me and by giving me the variety of experiences it allowed me to uh, single out what I like to do and what I want to do for a living. Yeah, so I, I'm considering a career in computer science. Uh, I really enjoy coding. Uh, I enjoy making things that work and showing it to other people and having them not be as excited about it. But <laughs> when you code something and you know the effort you put into it and all the nuts and bolts you made starting from the ground up and then you see the final thing, it's uh, the best feeling. And it's temporary and then you just start, start wanting to code more. It's an addiction. So. <laughs> well, not only does it actually allow you to determine if this is something that's right for you, if this is a field you want to work in, but it also prepares you for college very well because you're exposed to these uh, to these programming subjects that most schools I hear do not even offer, and so you will be ahead of your peers by the time you get to college. So preparation and the opportunity to explore yourself. Well, interestingly, in my other classes, everything is more structured, whereas in my computer science classes, I take control of my own learning, and I fiddle around with things. And we have projects, but, well, first of all, as I said, uh, the environment is ironically less structured, because you're allowed to take control of your own learning, fiddle around, fiddle around with things. You're also allowed to fix your mistakes always. You're <laughs> It's not you take a test and you fail and, uh, and that's the end of it. With computer science, you, you're designing something, building something, and there you have this environment where you can learn and build cool things and learn from your failures instead of having them kind of ruin your future, grades, something. Something that's not that, something that shouldn't be that important, but they make it important, so. I'm particularly proud of the final project in Java I made with Gavin Kai, where we made a board game called Hex. Uh, that one was more interesting than all other projects. First of all, because we received less guidance. Actually, we just were told what to do and we had to figure out how to do it uh, on our own by applying the skills we learned. And the reason I'm more proud of that project is because it's more visual, because it's a game that the user can actually play. It's colorful, it works, and it was just amazing to build it from the ground up, starting with drawing a hexagon and making that into a grid later, filling them in, doing all the arithmetic and the geometry, and once you're done and you see the final result of that, it's just awesome. Well, first of all, independent learning, because we're more encouraged to uh, get to work on a project right away, uh, make something work, rather than reading, say, a manuscript of information. Uh, definitely logical thinking, because you're studying algorithms, how to do things most efficiently. Uh, 
maybe I should rewire my brain. My brain's built in algorithms now that I know this information. Something I wish there was more focus on is collaboration because I feel like that's more, that's still very important in a workforce environment. And, but we were mostly allowed to work on our own projects, but there was some emphasis definitely. So those skills have actually improved too.